According to a uh, 2013 study by uh, Transportation for America, uh, one in nine bridges, they said, uh, remained structurally deficient. That makes you nervous. That was in America, so I'm sure British bridges are much more sturdy. Uh, but that was apparently the findings of this report in 2013, that one in nine bridges uh, were structurally deficient. Uh, but however true or not that may be about bridges in the United States, uh, I think we can say that the number is probably uh, higher for churches that are structurally deficient, uh, not just in America, but around the world. Uh, churches, uh, like many bridges, can operate uh, under a kind of veneer of um, uh, usefulness and purpose, uh, but deep down underneath there are great structural problems. Uh, in this chapter that we, we have just read, uh, we see, of course, Nehemiah and the people of Israel rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Of course, that was a, a physical rebuilding of a, a very real city with um, walls made of bricks and mortar. Uh, but there are lessons from this passage which help us as we build a spiritual building, a, a spiritual city. Uh, we are in a church right now, but the church is not the four walls we're within, although...